it's the fabulous ensemble and we are brought to you by and theater company that's our, our our home theater company in new york city although we're all over we're all over the place we are in more than one country we are so all over the place and we're going to be doing a Laurent for you hey speaking of and theater company before we get any further I, I want to mention that you can see members of this fabulous ensemble company live at the and theater benefit that is february the 11th 2022 february the 11th 7 p.m at the triad theater in an actual living human you can touch them and not too much don't, so. don't, don't, no. don't touch them just look at them and laugh in their faces which is good for us and and not good for anybody else so that is uh february the 11th at the and theater benefit at the triad theater in new york city 7 p.m the click the link down below you can buy tickets and go and see it and it will be amazing now um you're not going to see these individuals. Well, you'll see some of these individuals on the 11th, uh, but you will see people uh, as wonderful and as fabulous. And first, I want to introduce the cast and thank them for playing tonight. Uh, I want to thank all the way from uh, my my home back in Canada. We have Amanda Bigford. Hi, Amanda. It's, believe it or not, it's not as cold as it is in New York right now. So. What? This magical thing called a Chinook. We have Irene Carroll. Hi, Irene. <laughs> it's nice to see Irene. We got Taylor Edwards. Hello, Taylor. Uh, we have Christine Niven. Hi, Christine. And we have the fabulous Elkie Reed. Oh, nice pose. I, if I did that more often, I would hide three or four of my chins. Very nice. And what we're going to do this evening is La Ronde. Uh, La Ronde, it's a single location uh, where uh, the, the, these wonderful actors are going to play the same character throughout, and they're going to they're going to be entering and doing scenes. Now, I asked earlier uh, for a location. Uh, I asked, uh, may I please have a suggestion of a place where a lot of people who know each other would come and go, or as Irene would say, congregate. A far better word, I read. Uh, like a coffee room or something like that. A and Mar Grossman, uh, uh, a member of my family, gave this wonderful suggestion of a bookstore. Thank you, Mar. I appreciate that. A bookstore. So what we're going to do now is we're going to break off into our individual uh, actor uh, moments. Um, and our very first scene that takes place in the bookstore is going to be with uh, Amanda and Irene kicking us off. Oh! Uh, Gee, Cecily? Uh-huh? Cecily, somebody wrote you a note in this book. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know. It was Pete. I saw him put it in there. Oh, Cecily, that's so romantic. Oh, I mean, I, I read it. It's, it's quite, yeah, it's sweet. It's quite beautiful. It's, he's 10 years younger than me, Melissa. I, it's not practical. Oh, Cecily, I mean, what's a number? You know, <sighs> maybe, but you know, 23, 23, you were 23 once. <laughs> yes, I was. Oh, it's I like mean, that love story. Oh, sorry. You're so cute and you're so closer to his age. Why don't you go out with Pete? Pete? Oh my god, he would never recognize. He doesn't, I mean, we went to school. It, he just doesn't even know. It's, and plus, like, I'm not like you. You have your own business. This is awesome. Uh, hon, it's more responsibility than it is joy at this point. Oh, maybe you've just been here too long, huh, Cecily? Maybe so, but you know chapters and blackstones who, who are we 
I don't know. I mean, the binding and the glue keeps you together, I guess. It's toxic, honey. Don't, I meant to mention that. Don't touch it with your bare hands. That's how oh. Melissa got. Yeah. The other Melissa. The other Melissa. That's why you hired me. Cause the other Melissa got went. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, it was easier. You had, we had the name tag already. Yeah. No, I understand. Uh, look, I, I appreciate the job. I, I was just spinning my wheels, you know, just looking at my Instagram all the time and my TikToks and my Facebook, you know, videos. And then, I mean, I was still looking at cat videos on YouTube. I mean, who does that anymore? And then you gave me a job and you saw something in me. Well, you were just the sweetest person. And uh, I actually don't mind you doing the TikToks. I know you do them in the back. It's kind of, it's kind of nice. Well, we got, um, we got a lot of views on the last one and, and, and we went a little viral and, may, and maybe that's why maybe that's why Pete is leaving you messages. I, I could do a message, a story about that. Why don't you do a story for Pete that showcases something that you specialize in? I mean, you're a beautiful poet. <laughs> oh gosh, you doth protest too much. <laughs> See? <laughs> Oh, hi, Melissa. <laughs> hey, Lauren. Hi. Hi. Uh, Cecily, I found another book with Pete's love notes in it. I was oh. going to buy the, you know, Grey's Anatomy, but I'm not going to buy it now because it seems like it's for you. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Uh, really nice to see you, but I got to go make a phone call about this. Oh, okay. Hi, Lauren. She hates me. She hates me. I know she hates me. Every oh. time, every time I am here, she runs away from me. Oh, Lauren. It's Lauren, it's okay. look, hold my hands, Lauren. Hold my hands. Okay. Okay. Repeat after me. After me. After me. You. After me. You. Are. Are. A beautiful butterfly. A beautiful butterfly. But you know, Melissa, you really are a beautiful butterfly. And the more I look at you and you blossom and you grow and you're so pretty all the time. You, you are. You are. A re ready to metamorphose. Re ready to metamorphose. Are you changing? Are you leaving? Are you moving? I wouldn't want you to move at all because that would make me sad. You're like my only friend. Oh, and you, and you have, have enough to say. Enough to say. You know, you are so wise all the time, Melissa. No wonder I love you as much as I do. You are my <laughs> best friend. <laughs> I love you too. Oh, golly, thank you. <laughs> you know, I was going to tell you. Ooh. Yes. There there's There's a there's a little there's a tiny little voice going going on in the in the floorboards. Do you hear it? I, I do. I am listening to that. It sounds like a child, a small child. <sighs> But this child I, I didn't, sounds happy I, to me. I didn't. I didn't know if uh, if I was just going crazy or not what? because I was doing these TikToks and then maybe this place is haunted. It is. You know it's haunted, Lauren. Of course I know it's haunted. I speak to the other side. Oh, that's why you needed the Grey's Anatomy book because you because you know so much about bodies and stuff and they want bodies again so i'm kind of doing that whole is it is it a good idea if you are a ghost to possess a living body that's already being hosted by a, a soul i just can't answer that question for them like the little girl wow. you heard right yeah she wants yeah. to play like she's a cat or a dog and so her question was can i inhabit a cat or a dog it's a good question i don't know you know this will get a lot of people at the store if i if i tick tock this i think it and, will. and then 
Mm -hmm. And then Cecily will get a lot of people here, and then she won't feel so. like she's running down in the business. Oh, I feel a new presence. Coming in. Not I, coming oh. in. I, oh. 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 Whoa, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It uh, must be Brenda. Hi, Brenda. You recognize my voice. I'm Hi. so glad you recognize my voice. That's been so hard. I know. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, Lauren. Um, I, I'm just, I'm really freaked out here. I, but I have, I have oh. to get my equipment so I can like document this, and, and okay. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Okay, all right. I'll d I love Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How oh, are Lauren, you, Lauren? I was, so, I'm so happy that you're the one who's here because I, I've been hearing you talk to me, but this is the first time you've heard me back. It is true. I, I, it's, it's been kind of muffled. I think it's because of the books. Well, I've, I've been in the books. I've been right. in the books and I've been, I've been writing notes. I've been writing poems and people just don't seem to get that it's me. Oh my goodness. Is that you being Pete? Are you Pete? Brenda, clever. Well, I thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, now I can see you. you. Oh my god. Oh, you are such good luck. I'm I'm <gasps> I'm not gonna haunt you at all. Oh please, I, I, I want you to haunt me. I you I just I would feel so honored. You you would? I would. Brenda, you are just the best. Well, I mean when I was like in a full human form that you could touch mm -hmm. you didn't seem to like me at all you you <gasps> never invited me over you never oh my god i didn't. didn't realize you were brenda mcnamara that got run over by the car yeah wow so sorry i apologize you're right very rude of me i don't even think i attended your service See, so how would I know that you, you would be the person that I would talk to? It's true. It's true. I didn't know either. I think we're more connected now because I don't ever have that impression that you liked me when you had your body. I, I was trying to like everyone, but some people, you know, are harder than others. And I am. I'm very yeah. hard to like. Yeah, you really are. I'm a I weirdo. Mean, but you're better now. You're better. I am. You're better. I, that out. Now that I'm not oh, here. Oh, I wonder, can she, can she see? It's Pete. It's Pete. It's Pete. Pete, can you see? Can Pete see me? I, I'm, can. I'm, I'm, I can I'm, hear I'm, you. Much like, you know, Whoopi and Ghost. Oh, oh, Brenda. Brenda, stay I'm, here. I'm, 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 oh, I'm my gonna, God. No, I don't want I don't want to be here with Pete. I'm too embarrassed. I'm too embarrassed. Oh, no, no, no. Talk to Pete. Talk to Pete. Oh, because... Ah. I'm probably embarrassed because uh, I heard about her impression of her. Oh. Terrible. Oh, uh. okay, okay, all right. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, a um, you're you're writing some pretty good poetry these days, Pete. I, well, that's what I was supposed to talk to you. You know, I uh, I I think I need to kick it up a notch. I, I, I think you I, do. I've, I've been, yeah, I've been leaving a lot of notes, and uh, and I know Especially she's found them. She's found them. I even handed her your Grey's Anatomy one. That was, I was touched. I was touched. And she made a phone call. She left immediately and made a phone call. Yeah, oh. I don't know why. Yeah. So, so Pete, um, I don't think she truly understands. Like my poems? I don't think she understands your poems or your feelings. I don't think she gets any of it. What? And I, but I think it's, uh, it's playing in, in, in my writings. Like, I think it playing. is. Everybody gets it. Melissa gets it. Old Melissa gets it. You know, mm -hmm. everybody that's finding your writings, we understand. That's why we take the books to Cecily. <sighs> What, what, what is it? What, what, what is it that I need to do to get through to that woman? Poems are not working. What else is there? I'm, I'm thinking that's a rhetorical question because I'm not really versed in the affairs of the heart. 
Why? You, are you not a human? I am human. I'm just a weird human. And, and people, people don't really talk to me. So I talk to the ghosts. Yeah. Oh, that's why you used to me. Hi. <laughs> you met Pete. Yeah. Hi. Pete. Well, I'm just going to give you two. Oh, no. You don't have to run off. I do. I really do. I'll be... <laughs> oh, get at it. Oh, she's gone. Hey, <laughs> that's Lee. <laughs> Peter. Hey. Uh, call me, call me a uh, Pete. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to keep it formal, hun. It's just, I'm just going to go with the, your full, your full Christian name. Ah, but you call me hun. <laughs> uh, uh. Peter, so, uh, you're very sweet. You're just a very sweet person. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. And, and, and you, from what I can see from a distance, are very sweet as well. <sighs> Thank you. I have been told that before. <laughs> Pete, so uh, uh, you got my you got my notes. Uh, uh, they uh, everybody's told me that they've been uh, they've been giving them to you because they found them. You haven't found them. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I think the count's at uh, fifty or sixty at, at this point. Oh, you're, you're counting. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, uh, that's great food to hear. Ah, so Peter, have you met our newer employee, Melissa? <laughs> Apparently, you went to school together. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, getting back to me and you, possibly, the, the, the poem do something to you. I, it's just it was an awful lot uh of, of poetry about peanut butter and jam and i i assume it's a metaphor uh well i i i, I saw you eating a peanut butter and, and jam sandwich once oh okay okay so it was a literal a, a poem literally about well, my well, well it was the, the thought the thought it, it counts. I, 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 you know, I to let you know that I'm thinking about you, and I and I remember, I remember things. Yeah, your memory is very impressive. Yeah, I will say that. You look great today. I gotta say. Oh uh, yeah, I just threw on some old clothes. I was getting shipments in the back, so it's just my my holy smock. <laughs> No, oh, holy, holy, holy. <laughs> Hi, do you know, uh, um, uh, 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 so, um, <laughs> oh, Petey. What? Petey, what? I feel like this is maybe, a, you know, an American Pie Stifler's mom sort of effect where I'm the, the foxy older woman, but hun, I'm too old for you. What do you? What do you? Who? What do you mean? I'm an. I'm an adult. Barely. Barely. Well, what do you mean barely? I'm a man. Okay. If you stop writing the notes, we can go for one coffee. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts. It's oh, okay. right around the corner. Yeah, of course, of course, it is. Okay. And. We're naming this Laronde. Cecily makes a huge mistake. Everybody come on back. Never, never compromise and go for coffee with the, with the crazy person. Never. I, I, I know this from experience having been the crazy person. Uh, that was... That was in is brought to you by uh, that was performed for you by the ensemble professional actors improvising. I just came up with that as a tagline. I think that's pretty cool, right? And we are they're brought to you by uh, and theater company. Hey, these are amazing actors. And if you would like to cast, I'm putting in three letters, cast any of these fabulous actors in your projects. Well, you can you can contact them through 
and here, yeah. company, you can go there, I, I put the i put the address down below but it's ensemble at gmail.com uh, or you can go to the uh and theater company website and, and go to where it says ensemble and their pictures are there and links to their resumes and stuff like that it's really cool and if you want to see members of the ensemble live you go to the triad theater for the and theater benefit triad theater in new york city february the 11th at 7 p.m hey just super quickly i want to thank you amanda bigford and irene carroll and taylor edwards and Christine Niven as as Brenda the Ghost and Elkie Reed. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you for watching Improv. Without you, we'd just be weird people on the internet. Enjoy ourselves. Oh yes, and thank you one more time to Mark Grossman for our suggestion of a bookstore. I hope it's just like every bookstore you've ever seen. So we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. <laughs>